boy unable to sell newspapers suddenly disappears from the streets of London. A traveler intrigued by the painting promises to go on a journey to find him. After years of searching, he turns old and dies. Hi everyone. So today we are going to do a documentary style edit like Magnets Media. So all the assets you will be finding in the description which will help you to follow along with this video. So I highly recommend it to download those assets. And how did I get those assets? So you know these are all you know AI generated images. So what you can do is uh, you can go on to you know sites like Freepik or Envato or uh, you know chat GPT and generate you know those AI pics and then I took them to Photoshop and separated some of the images so that I can work around them so basically first what we are going to do is I am going to bring this image so as you can see over here the name chat GPT I generated it from there okay and then what I can do is hit S and make it bigger okay and then I can bring this you can also see same chat GPT is it in I also generated in chat GPT this image okay but these were all you know single images so you know I took them to Photoshop and separated the boy from this background now I'll bring this newspaper so for this what I did was I used the generative fill in Photoshop and generated this newspaper okay put this over here now remember to make all the layers 3d okay because we are going to be working with 3d camera I'll also bring in you know camera hit ok new null and make it 3d too now I'll parent link the camera to the null now I'll bring this painting hit s make it smaller okay so what I want to do is basically from the image of that boy okay it will you know zoom out and this painting will come so first I need to you know make this masking I'll select this you know rectangle tool and select the layer of this painting and start masking it like this I'll hit invert so you can see that this image is visible now to properly layer them okay behind it each other what I'm going to do is make this two views okay and now you can see the layers are very close or on top of each other but we don't want that okay so what I'm going to do you can see this over here is the camera okay this represents the camera what I'm going to do is basically select this okay rename this to factory rename this to painting hit p and drag this back this one is not painting this one is the boy okay and now i'll select the boy and push it back to like this select the newspaper hit p and now push this back to over here bring this inside yeah so as you can see if I select this you can see over here that all these layers okay are separated and have distance between them okay so this is coming first then this uh, newspaper and then this background okay so this will help us create a parallax effect okay so I can show you also if I hit P on this and move through this you can see that you will be able to see all the layers okay simple as that I can select this factory okay hit S and scale this a bit okay like this these black edges are there okay but we will adjust it later on now you have to just simply uh, you know place it okay I'll be bringing in another image okay this 
make it 3d2 and as you can see in this plane okay it is not the distance is not there okay it is stick together with this painting what we have to do is select the you know person hit p and distance like this we can bring the painting hit p and bring it a bit closer so now if i move this we'll get this now i'll start animating this so the second step will be animating it okay and lastly we will put all the effects okay i'll hit this hit p and zoom this in at the start okay like this and drag this up okay so at the start i will simply move this up okay there will be a black screen hit on the position keyframe go ahead let's go ahead one second and then bring this down like this okay select this f9 and we'll simply select this drag this here okay go ahead two frames and click on position keyframe go ahead again okay and then zoom this out like this I'll drag this a bit up okay simply i'll select this and drag this out more okay because let's give it more time for the animation okay as you can see there are these black edges we'll fix that okay but for now let's complete the animation and from here i'll simply select you know i'll simply head on to around seven to eight seconds okay and again click on the position keyframe go to the right okay but before that we need to place our final images so what i'm going to do is select this png of old man okay right click transform and i'll make this flip horizontal put this over here select this background make it 3d2 and put it over here let me just you know bring this towards the side okay so i can see properly select this hit p bring it back let's disable this old man png for now okay so i can see this more properly and let's see if i you know go here and drag this towards the left you can see that the scene is changing okay something like this Let's delete this for now i'll select my png and move it a bit behind and now finally i'll enable my old man png okay hit p let's move this also and bring this over here hit s now if i hit p and move this towards the right you can see so this is fine now we just need to animate the last part so just go ahead till here and drag this towards the right like this this is our raw animation okay it needs touching up to close all the gaps okay
okay now let's fix the caps as see as you can see this black cap over here so what we can do is create new null object okay make this 3d rename this to first scene okay and now connect the factory boy and newspaper to the first scene so what i can do now is basically select the factory deselect this okay and you know expand this and expand this too as you can see only a little bit from this side is left so what i can do is basically hit p and drag this a bit towards the up now you can see there are no black regions while zooming out okay so this comes up and then zooms okay you can see the smooth animation is there and then goes towards the right now to cover this up this area is not looking good so what we can do is select this hit p okay hit s and deselect this make this bigger okay stretch this out now you can see it is covering up nicely only a little bit towards this side is left so hit p again and let's shift it towards the left a bit select this old man hit p shift it towards the left hit u over here and what i can do is bring it a bit forward like this okay then this background is showing up in this area which we don't want okay so simply select this p for position okay go ahead hit position keyframe again now go to this keyframe simply drag this over here okay and drag this towards the left select this and make this a bit straighter for a faster animation towards the start okay now you can see this area is fixed okay there are no gaps over here so this will be our you know camera movement okay now for the effects part so what we have to do is you know add some you know effects to this animation so this will look more vibrant and more realistic okay so to do that first right click new bring in an adjustment layer search for gaussian blur put it on this increase it now select the ellipse tool and double click it and invert it okay feather this out now okay so now you can see at the edges over here there is some you know blur towards the edges gives it a more cinematic feel okay now i'll add another new adjustment layer let's rename our adjustment layers i'll re rename this to blur now i'll select this i'll type here professional look and search for my preset which is professional look and put it on this deep glow from this okay and what else is there noise chromatic aberrations and vignette okay so this is a preset which i made okay and this preset contains the contains the effects such as vignette noise and vr chromatic aberrations okay I'll simply just adjust the amount, okay, 
you will not find professional look okay because this is a preset i made so make sure to you know bring these effects okay and put it over here you can see the settings okay and accordingly copy it or you know if you want to change the settings for a better look you can do that too now i'll hit new hit adjustment layer again and rename this to flare bring in lens flare okay go to the first scene okay as you can see the light is coming from that side so i'll simply just you know drag this okay reduce the flare brightness blend okay increase this blend with the original okay make this 35 mm prime okay so i will bring in these embers fire embers and put it on top okay mode screen and as you can see the animation is livened up with this okay rectangle mask and you know mask out this area invert it and just feather this out a bit okay i have another fire animation okay i'll hit t reduce it and finally the icing on the top will be the puppet tool animation so basically what you have to do is select the puppet tool okay solo out this boy and click on this okay okay so you can move him like this now i'll hit u bring these over here go ahead 20 frames okay and then simply select this and move it to the right okay now select copy this again go ahead 20 frames control v again go at 20 frames control v copy this all okay as you can see there is this subtle animation okay now i'll simply select these all and while holding alt i'll drag with my mouse button till here okay deselect this and now you can see the animation will look much cleaner now okay or more realistic okay so you can do this puppet tool animation with this also and then with this also or anything which you want to move okay so you can also add text okay some text over here and you know to to make it more appealing okay so so this is how you will be able to create scenes from scratch for documentary edits like magnets media see you in the next